Hello friends, welcome back to Marquee Soaps. Today we are kind of playing around with an, a new mold that I have. Um, my boss at my, I guess, nine to five job, she likes to go thrift store shopping and so she always come, finds me these really unique, cool silicone molds. So I have that set off to the side, I'll show you in a moment. But we are working with Burgundy Rose today. So this scent, it smells really nice. It's a really deep rose scent. Um, the notes say that it, there, there is some acceleration. So normally when there's some acceleration, there's a lot, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. So I'm gonna use my stick blender to blend my kale and clay coconut milk powder in with my oils. And then when I add my lye water, I'm not going to use my stick blender for that. I'm going to use a whisk. So this looks good. So we are done with the stick blender for today. Oh no, you know what? We're not gonna be able to be done because I'm using titanium dioxide. Maybe instead, I'm just talking to myself, I will use like a pearl white, I will. No titanium dioxide. So let me do one thing here. The closest thing to me is the paper cup. So I'm going to use that and a little bit of my batch oils. And we will do some of this snowflake sparkle mica. And when I say some of it, we're gonna put a decent amount in here. That way it does make our soap turn white. And I think that will look really pretty. I should just put it in the entire thing, huh? Yes, we are going to. Okay, we wasted that cup for nothing. So let's add white to the entire batch. Okay, let's stick blend this. So this gave it a good amount of sparkle. Let me see what other white mica I have. I'm gonna try some of this super pearly white mica. This is more, less sparkle actually color. All right, that is looking good. So we'll get our stick blender cleaned back off again because we won't be going back to that. Over here before I add in my lye water I'll show you the colorants so we have some Grace 50 shade mica powder and I have a little bit of my batch oil I'm just going to mix this in now so that looks good and it will turn a little bit of a pastel color because of the white that we have in our base. And then this pink. What's this one from Nurture Soap? So for those who don't know, I work from home right now, four days a week, and I'm making this soap on my lunch break. So if I seem a little more rushed than normal, that's why. Uh, it's Friday, March 12th, and tomorrow my children are going with my dad to Florida for a week. So I have been stressing out getting them packed up, making sure they don't forget anything. Um, I've learned it's a lot more stressful packing children to go on a trip without you because what if they forget something? And it is if you were actually going. Grab our whisk. Well, let's make some soap. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. And I added in that mica already, so it's going to be even harder for me to tell when it's at a emulsion. But if I need to, I can stick blend it for a couple bursts, it won't hurt anything. Maybe. But yeah, Florida. They're going to Florida with my dad. My dad called 
three days ago and said, hey, I got next week off of work. The kids are on spring break and they go to Florida with me. He's been wanting to take them for a while. He just has a little camper that he brings down. Um, and so I'm like, oh yeah, that's fine. So I got out the summer clothes because we're in Iowa and we're just coming out of winter. So I had the kids trying all their summer clothes and what do you know, nothing fit any of them and I have four kids. So we have spent the week going to Kohl's, got, ordering online, swimming suits online. I did forget to buy my son a bath towel. So tonight I have to go do that, a bath towel, a beach towel. He lost his. I don't know how you lose a beach towel, but he lost his. So I am gonna come in with a stick blender, just for a couple little bursts, nothing big. So I, I am ready for tomorrow because I have been so stressed out this week. All right, that's all we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and get some of our colors separated. So they're leaving tomorrow. They're driving down there. And my dad wants to do a straight shot. <laughs> Which, oh, my kids, one of them gets car sick. Um, none of them have been in a car for that long. I think the longest they've been in a car that they can remember was probably like five hours. And that's, you know, that's a lot for a kid. I think where they're going is like 19 hour drive. So good luck. <laughs> That's all I told them. I'm like, well, good luck. I he's like, well, you guys can go. I'm like, no, no, no. No, thank you. That sounds awful. Did not sound like a good time at all. Going and staying in an old pop-up camper with five other people. No, 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 no. I will take a week and think of all the things I can get done without having four kids to take care of and feed every night and I'm kind of looking forward to it and I'm also already missing them before they've even left. That's a long time for them to be gone. All right, let's get our mold prepped. This is what we have. We have wedding cakes. <laughs> so my boss found me two of these molds when she went, you know, secondhand shopping. And I think they'll be fun to play around and just do a couple different designs. So I did recently do some um, favors for a bridesmaid. Well, the bridesmaid asked for soap favors made. I did post a video of that. I'll post it below. And the bride's colors are pink and gray. So for one of them, I wanna do all white. One I wanna do layered, like white, pink, gray. And I'd like to do one white, pink, white, and then the other one kind of a swirl. But we're gonna see, it all depends on this fragrance, how it behaves. So let's move this so we can all watch. Our soap hopefully not seize up, I hope. Really, really hope. I'm just gonna put it in the white first. And really cross my fingers. Oh, it smells so good. It's not ricing, which is great. I feel like a lot of fragrances, they really accelerate when you come in with a stick blender. So hopefully if we just don't do that, we can at least get it in the mold. It looks like we should be able to, but it could thicken up at any second. Okay. Now, the other, the other reason though I, I chose to use this accelerating soap is because this, um, There we go, now we're getting thick. 
So I can go through and I can correct any mistakes that I make because I'm going to put frosting on top of this when it's done. So it won't be a, a problem or an issue if there's some that just don't look right. Okay, so that got really thick. We're yeah. I am going to let's try to get one more. It's just behaving exactly how I want it to. But if there are like some air bubbles in here, it's not really that big of a deal because we're going to put pipe on little roses and different flowers and such on the outside of these. So you will hide any imperfection. All right, now let's go on to our pink. I don't wanna move this. Let me just move you. We're gonna go super fast so we can still hopefully get use that white. So I'm gonna do pink layer here. So each one of these is 14 ounces of water. It held of water. This is the first time I've used it for soap, but 14 ounces of water. That is a lot. Oh yeah, now we're soap on a stick here. This white is gonna be done. So let's just pour that in there. We're not gonna worry about the scraping right now. Come back over, do our gray. And this one will just do like a drop swirl in there. I want it to sit on top and not break through. Perfect. Now let's see if we can what I'm doing I'm putting the gray in with the white and the white is well, the white is soap on a stick so that was a waste of time I wanted to see if I could mix this together a little bit and just somehow get it in the mold but there's just no way it will it'll it'll look awful we'll do it we'll do it but it, it's not gonna look pretty so there's soap behaving with it just had some acceleration. There was a lot there. We did get our one that I wanted, which is a three layer one. We have one that is all white. This one will be okay. It'll just be a two tiered cake. And this one I'm, I'm putting the soap in now is trash, but you know, let's just see what happens. Maybe it won't be, I think it will be, but Maybe not. It will be trash. So that is soaping with some acceleration. It's, if you're doing a one colored soap, I, I don't know. I don't like soaping with fragrances that do this. I'm not sure why I purchased the scent in an eight ounce bottle. Usually if something accelerates and I want to try it, I buy like a one ounce or a four ounce bottle and I'll do like shampoo bars or wax melts out of it, not soap. But I bought it in an eight ounce. So I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. That looks awful, but these three look okay. This one over here, we'll just kind of bevel and straighten that up. But all right, we will let this set for a day. I'll come back, we'll get it piped and unmolded and we'll see what these look like. 
So it has been 24 hours and we are going to unmold these three tiered cakes. Okay, that wasn't bad. Okay. It's huge, it's uneven. We're gonna have to bevel the bottom. We can definitely decorate it. This is the one I'm hoping turns out. Ugly duckling here. Oh yeah, that's a definite ugly duckling. <laughs> that one. I don't know if we can save that one. <laughs> but it was just a mold that, that I was given and figured that we would try it out to see what the cakes look like. This one's a two-tiered one. I might like that one the best besides it's not really level but let's uh, make some soap frosting and uh, see what we can do with these so our soap frosting is finally done I will show you what we have this is a Wilton floor tip and we have titanium dioxide in here this one is a Wilton 68 leaf tip, and I have emerald green by Nurture Soap. And here we have Flower Girl by Nurture Soap with a Wilton 109 tip. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to be working on the white one first. Oh, and I also have some gold I picked out uh, the gold uh, balls from this fancy sprinkles these are sugar sprinkles so let's just these are simply to play around with I, I mean I got this mold for free I just want to kind of see what kind of shapes we can do with it what kind of design so there's nothing in particular that we're making we're just playing around and I think this is an important to do like how many other soap makers they get something a mold they don't know what to do with it so they just kind of play around so I'm just showing you what I would do normally it is our 30 videos in 30 days so I am showing you what I do on a daily basis and so playing with new molds and seeing what we can do is one of the things that we do and these will probably go, not in the trash, but they'll end up being for personal use, but it's a good way to practice your piping too, because I personally always need to practice my piping. top. Oh, no we won't. I'm going to put a little ball of white on top. <laughs> that looks silly, but it's there. We'll do another sprinkle. All right, so I'm just going to decorate this one. So thanks guys for watching today's video. Today is day 26 out of 30. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how I package my Easter soaps and I will also be releasing those tomorrow. Uh, while I'm packaging them, I will also show you the setup that I have when I photograph my products. So thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. 
Uh, if you look at yesterday's video where we did our in beds for an upcoming soap, I do have a giveaway going. It's the first giveaway on the channel. Uh, you can enter to win a free bar of soap. I will ship it to you anywhere, whether you are in the United States or international, totally for free. And all you have to do is just guess what the three soap themes are for the embeds that I made yesterday. So thanks again for watching and we will see you tomorrow guys. Bye.